Here to make sense of all of that Fed speak, including the more bullish comments from St. Louis Fed President James Bullard, Diane Swank joins us now. She's the chief economist at Grant Thornton. Diane, welcome. And what do you think the Fed is trying to do here? Well, I think it's clear that Fed Chairman Powell is pleading Congress for more aid, and many of the Fed presidents agree with them. The outlier is Bullard, although he himself also acknowledged the critical role that the stimulus played in supporting the recovery early on. So as much as there is dissonance, and I think they're having a real problem with their communications these days, I do think there is a sort of underlying commonality in terms of what the Fed can do to cure what ails us, and frankly, they're limited. They're running out of rabbits to pull out of a hat. And Chair Powell has really emphasized that this is the role that fiscal policy must play. And he's also been sort of trying to stay out of the middle of the debate, saying it's needed, but it's your guys' um, job to actually determine what needs to be done. It's interesting, Diane, because there's sort of the short-term and the long-term issues here. I, in the short run, they're trying to pa get Congress to pass another stimulus bill. But in the longer run, they're trying to uh, persuade markets that they're serious about letting inflation hit 2 percent and run above that. So do you think that's what accounts for the, the mixed messages right now? I mean, once we, if we were to get another COVID bill, would they all of a sudden start talking about, yeah, let her rip? Yeah, I mean, this is really an interesting issue, is there are new average inflation target isn't actually an average inflation target yet, and the new tools that they've got are just guidelines, and they really depend on who's sitting at the table, and that's given us even some dissonance on the Fed on that. I think it's really important to understand what the Fed appears to have agreed on. They've agreed that they're willing to overshoot on inflation a bit to allow wages to rise as a share, bargaining power for workers to come back. They saw that in the last expansion, not until the very end of the expansion. They want to recreate that, get back to 3.5% unemployment as soon as possible, and let it run for a little bit. That actually, if markets believe them, is not great for profit share in the U.S. economy. And so it's not as good for financial markets, but better for Main Street than Wall Street. That said, would the Fed um, raise rates? The trajectory matters. The Fed would not hesitate to raise rates if inflation suddenly moved up from 1.5 to 2 to 3 the trajectory of that inflation matters, too. They would then have to deal with that. What we worry the most about is that if Congress doesn't provide aid, you could have enough consolidation and a supply-side shock that you actually have a price increase mm -hmm. or inflation increase at the same time the economy is still stagnating.